Hello everyone, welcome to Tutor IMG's um, short medical series. So we're um, continuing with our antipsychotic side effects. And now we're going to be taking a look at a side effect that's basically seen with a number of uh, second generation antipsychotics and it's called uh, metabolic syndrome. Okay, now with metabolic syndrome, What you see is, of course, weight gain, plus we can also see diabetes, and we can see dyslipidemias. So this spectrum is especially harmful. Now, patients who are on clozapine and olanzapine seem to be at the most increased risk. So the way to check for this is if you need to place a patient on clozapine or olanzapine, you need to do regular follow-ups with them, in which case, what are you going to be testing? And this list is important for your uh, short you know, um, uh, management questions, where the tests that you will be doing will be regular weight uh, assessments, regular waist measurements, you will be doing blood pressures, you will be doing fasting blood glucose levels, lipid profiles, right? So these are all going to be regular assessments that you do for a patient. Because there have been times when patients have been known to develop diabetes even 10 years after um, the patient stopped taking um, the, um, you know, the medication. And the cause in most of these cases is basically the insulin resistance that um, you know, happens when patients are taking this drug. Now, if the patient is on um, olanzapine, what you need to do is you need to switch the patient from olanzapine to another drug, which usually is aripripazole. Okay, aripripazole is a better drug, and the way to shift patients off of uh, clozapine or olanzapine, usually, the reason why I say olanzapine and not clozapine is because you only put patients on clozapine after you know they've kind of not uh, shown you much benefit with other drugs. So clozapine is already a last effort kind of um, drug for patients. So it's usually um, with lanzapine that we try to shift patients off, right? So if the patient is on lanzapine and you want to shift them off, then you will um, likely shift them to aripripazole. And you will do this in a cross titration method where what you're doing is uh, decreasing the dose of olanzapine while increasing the dose of aripripazole. Because, um, of course, the risk when you're decreasing a dose is that you don't want to trigger a psychotic event in a patient. Okay. Now, since we don't want to touch a patient who's on clozapine because they've already been, you know, um, so difficult to manage, what do you do here in this setting? The preference is not to shift them, but rather to add metformin. So if you see this on the boards, then the choice um, for a patient who's on clozapine will be to add metformin to the regime because metformin has been known to, you know, a sort of um, counteract the insulin resistance that you see with clozapine in patients. Okay, so um, that's um, a very important concept and you have to sometimes, you know, choose between these uh, medications, right? Another thing that you see on the boards um, associated with uh, our antipsychotics will be prolactin levels. Okay. Now, prolactin levels increase, and most of the time this is seen with resperidone, right? So resperidone, which is again a second generation antipsychotic, is also associated with higher levels of uh, pituitary adenoma, right? So you need to screen patients periodically for this if you find that they're experiencing a lot of sexual dysfunction, right, or galactoria. Now, when you have sexual dysfunction, especially in females, this can be associated with amenorrhea. So patients who are experiencing this, again, we see that if you switch them to aripripazole, right, you will find that they, um, it's actually beneficial because aripripazole not only will substitute risperidone, but it will also bring down the prolactin levels. 
So it actively brings the levels down. The other interesting thing with, um, uh, with Respiradon, female Respiradon uh, patients is that you can add, again, metformin to the regime there. Okay. And this is, of course, done when, when patients have been maintained on Respiradon for a while and they're stable and it's been very difficult uh, to, to bring about that uh, stability in their, uh, in their disease uh, process, right? So whenever you see on the boards a question which mentions that, you know, the patient was difficult to manage and is finally stable on a certain medication, that is a hint for you to stay away from the choice that suggests changing the drug or switching to another a drug or even, you know, bringing the dose down. Usually terms like that or key phrases like that would mean that you must treat the side effect rather than stop, switch, or decrease dose of the drug. So treating the side effect of increased prolactin in such patients would mean adding metformin because metformin has been shown to bring um, the menstrual cycle back to regulation in these, uh, in these females. So for added um, videos like these, please support our channel and like this video, of course. Thank you.